Hi there, my name is Jess. Um, I am partnering with Intuitive Home Solutions and today I'd like to discuss top 10 Christian misconceptions about witchcraft. I'm going to go through all 10. This is going to be a series, three parts. Each part's going to be 10 and this one's focusing on the misconceptions that modern Christianity has about witchcraft. Now, number one, we don't worship the devil. There's a branch of paganism that are Satanists that do worship a Luciferian um, spirit, but most witches uh, don't worship the devil. Some don't even recognize a deity. Some just worship the spirit of the earth and uh, universal um, spirituality in general, but they don't worship a specific deity. Some, um, but most of us don't worship the devil at all. Number two is we're not going to hell. Most of us don't believe in it. If um, those who, specifically those of us who don't worship the devil, we don't believe in the devil, we don't believe in Lucifer, and that means we also don't believe in hell. Some of us believe in reincarnation. Some of us believe in uh, sort of a Catholic uh, belief of purgatory. And some of us are Christian witches who do believe in heaven and hell, but mo many of us don't even believe in a hell, so we don't believe we're going to it. You tell us we're going to hell, doesn't really bother us because we don't believe in it. Uh, number three is we don't sacrifice animals. Um, some people who are in different branches of spirituality do believe in using blood in their magic. Most of the time it's our own blood, or if they're preparing dinner, sometimes they use the blood of the animal in order to um, give honor to, the, to their deities. But many people believe that that is... Um, a darker magic however I would like to point out that there are several belief systems that back in the day did use blood magic or did have um, blood sacrifices including Christianity and also in um, Muslim and in Viking um, Christ, um, religions as well they did have uh, blood sacrifices and that was just what was normal then they believed that it was honoring their deities for their sacrifice of creating humankind, that they would sacrifice an animal, or um, even in Aztec beliefs, sometimes they did uh, human sacrifices in order to appease their gods and thank them for using their own blood to create humankind. But most of us don't use blood magic these days, and so we're, we're not going to sacrifice your animals, we're not going to kill your black cats on Halloween. Many of us actually love our animals and we call them familiars. We believe that uh, they communicate with us in our in our spirit world and help us in our magic. So don't be afraid of us um, when it comes to your animals and your fur babies. Uh, number four is that just because a witch or a pagan in general is sick doesn't mean that we're being cursed for our belief system by our health declining. Many people of other belief systems and many people who don't believe in a spirituality at all are sick anyways. It has nothing to do with our belief system. And because a pagan is paralyzed or has an autoimmune disease doesn't mean that we're being punished for what we believe in. It just happens. It's a part of, uh, who, it's a part of human nature. And it doesn't mean that uh, we're in trouble with um, God or Jesus because of what our belief systems are. Just because you, uh, perhaps being a Christian, don't pray to the um, Nordic goddess Freya doesn't mean that because you have cancer, she's cursed you. It's sort of a backwards thinking. Uh, number five is, please stop saying we're bringing demons into the world just by practicing magic. Some people do believe in working with angels or demons in general, but just because we're practicing magic doesn't we're going to bring a demon into this realm. That's a bit, big misconception. Uh, the next one is, we're not going to curse you. So when you find out that we're a pagan or a witch, the first thing out of your mouth shouldn't be, oh, don't curse me. We're not going to curse you for no reason. Just like uh, you're not going to say to your Christian friends, oh, please don't, please don't have your God uh, place a curse on my life just because I don't follow him. Seems sort of wrong to say that, right? We understand where that's coming from. It's the same thing with paganism and with witchcraft. We're not going to just curse you because we're a witch. It has nothing to do with being a witch. Some people believe in curses. Some people don't believe in curses. Next is, it's not a phase of our life. Some people do go through spiritual phases, but that doesn't mean you need to point it out. You wouldn't go to your Catholic friends and say, oh, it's a phase. You'll get over it. 
yeah, I know you're praying to um, Mary, and I know you're praying to St. Jude, and I know you're praying to Jesus, but it's just a phase. You'll get through it. You wouldn't say that to your Catholic friends, so please don't say it to us. And we're not rebelling against the Christian God by going into paganism or witchcraft. It's really a spiritual thing for us, and it's not a phase, and we're not rebelling against your God either. Lastly, people who are pagan or witches can also believe in the Christian God. Many of us, um, those of us who are witches and Christians, refer to themselves as Christian witches. And they do light candles to the saints, and they do light candles for their departed loved ones. They do pray to the saints and to Mary um, to intervene for them. Uh, many of them still go to Mass, but they also believe in the spirituality and the power of Earth itself, as well as in their Christian gods and saints, and Mary, of course. So those are the top 10 Christian misconceptions that I found are most prevalent, um, prevalent in the people that I've interacted with and what they've said to me, and that's just sort of how I feel about it. If you've heard anything that Christians have said to you that you would like to share with us that really bothered you, please comment down in the comment section below. Give this video a big thumbs up. And remember, we do have a Facebook page and a group, as well as an Instagram and a Twitter that you could follow to keep up to date with other videos and discounts for our Intuitive Home Solutions shop. Um, once again, my name is Jess. I go by Mystic Jess and blessed be.